My name is Mike Moss, Madness, uh, Monstrous Mad Mike, and I'm a runner. I truly believe that every runner has a great running story, and this is Mike's. Why is running your main form of fitness? Let's start with that. Well, it's actually not. <laughs> well, I mean, it is, but it isn't. I also work out, and I've always done weights, and uh, there's other, been other things I've done, like Pilates and yoga. And I uh, also had a bike at one time, but uh, sold that right before I moved to the city of Beaumont. Were you athletic growing up? No, it wasn't. Never was till I had I always tell people my midlife crisis at almost 30 years old and just got into working out and then a few years later into running. So it's it's been good. Where did Monstrous Mad Mike come from? Oh, that's about, I don't know, 15 years ago, I had a boss at the time that kept calling me Mad Mike. And then a couple years later, that stuck with me. And I had another coworker, I'd just gotten into working out and he told me, well, you keep working out, you're gonna be monstrous. And it just happened as a perfect storm. And then they let me have that name till Facebook took it away from me a few years ago. I started doing marathons when my dad passed um, a little over 10 years ago and was way to honor my dad and then I had done almost I'd, every distance up to that and it was just it was a challenge and now it's a challenge the more years I keep going and you know the more years we add on the calendar to uh, add to it every year so it's, it's a challenge to me is the main thing. So far I've ran 238 races. So virtual races were you into virtual races before or? No never did any never did. Right, so why are you doing virtual races now? Well, because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic that we're going through right now, uh, I've had to. So, but it's been really good because I'm training for some marathons coming up. All right, what marathons are you training for? Uh, Chicago, possibly looking at maybe going to Dallas. I don't know. Uh, Houston, and um, the marathon in Birmingham, the Mercedes. What has running brought to your life? Um. A lot of a lot of good people. I will say that uh, uh, the people is the main thing. I think it's the main reason why I keep doing it is the social interaction and uh, just met so many good people through it. And, you know, got to see the world. You never flew before, and then you started going to races, right? Yeah, uh, I had done a lot of races, and in 2017, I got on a plane, flew for four hours from Houston to Seattle, and hit turbulence going through the first first wave over there and then uh after that i was hooked so yeah i've flown about i don't know four or five times i'll do your running right i'll do your running what advice would you give to uh new runners first piece of advice is don't go out there and blow yourself up going fast um speed comes over years and years of training and just doing races and so forth so don't think you're just gonna be fast automatically get out there and Start slow and learn to walk before you learn to run, so to speak. So start at your 5Ks. Don't think you have to do a marathon right off the bat. What's your future in running? Well, hopefully I can be maybe a Joe Malone song one day and running in my 60s and just keeping it going. That's, that's my crazy dream. Exactly. I, I want to run all the Abbott majors is, is my, uh, my grand goal. And... Hopefully Chicago isn't canceled this year. And what are those majors? Chicago, New York, Boston, London, Berlin, and Tokyo. What's one last thing you want to say? Ooh, yeah, dig it.